Spencer Lear here, post race at the first round of the Oscar Super Late Model Tour with the crowd pleaser Kelly Balson. Got his first Super Late Model start in the books, and this is the moment where I pan out and show you the hot rod. Still very much in one piece, so I mean, you got to be happy about that. You're looking at the good side. A ninth place finish here tonight. Um, you, you combated a bit of a handling issue. We'll start with that. Walk me through your afternoon. It was a tank, and then it got crazy loose. Like, I'm talking about practice and stuff. It was absolutely brutal all day, and we thrashed on it, thrashed on it, and then there was a moment in time where I thought we might be maybe a top six or seven car, and then it picked up a horrendous push, and it was just a, it was a nasty struggle all day. Now, I gotta ask you though, let's go back to practice, and the, the first time I was, I saw you out there with the super late model motor under the hood, Roddy Cochran put together a beast of a motor for this thing. You make some steam down the back straightaway here at Sunset. Yeah, Roddy's put together some, uh, some heavy steam going on, like you say. Um, we just got to find a way to get it to the ground. That, that would be wonderful if we could find a way to utilize that power, get the get the horsies to the ground. That's the next. That, that's what we got to do. I mean, it's all a learning process. I mean, it, it, is adjusting to the power a, a huge part no, of that rookie process? No, it's not. It, the, the, no, it's not. It's, a, it's, it's kind of a fun car to drive. It's awful fast and stuff. The one thing that you can really do quickly is overshoot a corner. You can, you're going to come steaming into a corner and it kind of comes up on you a little quicker than any other car that you've experienced. So if you kind of momentary fade, like I'm talking about a half a second, you kind of look in your mirror or something, you're on the corner quick. However, that aside, the car itself is pretty fundamental. If it'll, if it'll turn, you got a good car. If you don't, then you're your guy running ninth. <laughs> now, I mean, you still put together a top 10 finish on a night where a lot of guys were, were out very early. It turned into a survival of the fittest or survival of the smartest race pretty quickly because uh, we'll say at the, at the start of the race, a bit of a lack of strategy, lack of patience, and a, a couple of guys got tore up, and luckily the B10 wasn't involved. Well, to be honest with you, with what was going on with our practice and then our heat races, I figured that this is going to be my plan, that I'm going to have to be that guy that finds a happy spot to run and maybe not get involved in that stuff because I didn't have a, a car that was going to be able to contend with the Gressels and the Hanleys of the world. So I'm going to have to find a happy spot and uh, keep this thing in one piece and hope to uh, live to fight another day, you know what I mean? So combat a loose race car all through the afternoon and then I guess the, did the car tighten up as the track tightened up? Well, we made... Dan McCaddy was here working his ass off, and I thanks to Dan and DMR and everything he did, and we threw the kitchen sink at it to get the looseness out of it. And for the first, the first maybe six, seven to ten laps of that feature, I was thinking we might have a top five car here because we were on the high side. It was charging and it was gripping, and I don't know if you saw that or not from where you're sitting, but it was kind of coming. And then I picked up a, just a filthy push, and that's when I realized. Okay, back to what I was originally thinking. This is a survival of the fittest moment for me. I'm going to have to just bide my time. Don't get in anybody. Don't wreck anybody. Don't wreck myself. And it was one of those, uh, let's just load her up at the end of the day. Maybe we can get a top 10 or a top whatever. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this was your first time on the new Sunset, was it not? No, I was here with the Sportsman Cup. Um, was that after we had renovated the track? Yes, though? yes. It was. It was? Okay, okay. Yeah, and it seemed, uh, we had a great car that day. So I was familiar with the track that day. And truth of the matter is I was looking forward to coming back because we were so good that day with the uh, OSS car. Obviously this is a quite a bit different tub and uh, it didn't uh, it didn't go as well as I had hoped but the finish is good and the car is in one piece and I suppose we can walk away. Now my segue from that, so we'll, we'll say you've been here once compared yeah. to some of the other guys that have a lot of laps on here. I was going to say that we're going into your backyard next. Round number two of the tour is going to Kawartha, a track that you're, you, you, you've got a, a couple of laps around Kawartha Speedway. Yeah, yeah, are, you, yeah. are you a little more optimistic about what you might be able to do in round number two? Not really. Um, this was so disappointing that it's going to take a few vodkas to get over. So, but, you know, DMR, Dan McCaddy the king of Korth, and he's got some ideas. So that, I suppose, after maybe my third vodka, that might make, start to make me feel better. <laughs> I know it's not possible with a lot of support. This might be my favorite interview of the night, by the way. I know it's not possible with a lot of support. Thank the folks to make this, uh, make this happen for you. I got to thank Roddy Cocker and Cocker Automotive who built this uh, big, nasty plan underneath the... Uh, underneath the hood there he flopped at his monster muscle tonight and i gotta thank uh, mike schmidt for all he does london recreation on mine and manda's car thanks mike he's been over i got a ryan coke sitting for him over here on the bench he'll come and don't worry he'll come and grab it and i want to thank spencer lewis promotions for yes helping us out this year i don't know where he is though but he's a hack exactly and, yeah i've uh, heard that and i want to thank roddy for coming out dan mccaddy for coming out. dan price for working his balls off all night long my woman a man talking to crystal Anyway, that's about it. That's if I forgot somebody, I for I'm sorry, but I... That's the dream team, my friend. We'll see you around <laughs> number two, June 1st of the Speedway. All the best, Kelly.